G'day and welcome back to the channel. Today we need to get stuck into this thing. This you crazy mother. So since the last time we talked about the mini bike, I've done absolutely nothing. In fact, it's gone backwards. Look at the state of it. But I've got most of the parts down to finish it off. I just had a quick trip up the road to get some paint for it. We'll show you what that's going to look like soon. I've been burning the candle on the both ends and I've been busy doing this, which you may or may not have seen on my last episode. I've done a little bit to it since you saw it last. A bit more of a tart up. Um, nice new badge on the front. But that's been keeping me busy. And now this is done. It's going to be my tow vehicle. This is going to tow Doris down. Who's currently a workbench at the moment. <laughs> Place is an absolute bomb war zone because of all the stuff I've been trying to do with that um, pickup. Short deadlines. But got a little bit to do on this guy. I've got some new air filters coming because the old one's broke. Anyway, this video is not about Doris. This video is about mini bikes. I've got 28 days to get the mini box sorted out, get Doris cleaned up and tuned up again. Tow bar on the F1 and uh, rock on down to the Boogaloo. So let's get into this mini bike. I'm one of these guys that works like a whirlwind and I'll leave everything in the disaster zone. It's just how I've been. I'm a flat surface guy. So if there's a flat surface, there's got stuff on it. I have nowhere to put anything. Look, running board, flat surface. Workbench, flat surface. There's my workbench. That's a decent flat surface. I need to clean that up. We'll get the mini bike up on there. It'll give me an area to work with some decent lighting. I can set up the camera and we can get stuck into it. And when we're finished, it's gonna look exactly like that again. Love it. There you go, that'll do. It's a workbench, not a dining table. Let's get this thing laid out. All right, there she is. Everything. I'm pretty sure I've got everything. I've got two challenges, and I think I touched on it last time, I haven't gone back and watched a video, is lining up my rear sprocket, which I'm pretty sure I know how to do that. I won't tell long to figure that out again. And sticking a cup on here. Now, I have a cup, but I'm not sure how I'm going to go about getting it on there yet, because this was a side pull start, which the starter was bolted on here, and there's a in there is the teeth for it hooks onto where we need a cup starter for the where is it this starter here i'll go and grab the cup hang on so there were pretty much two types of engines and this is the later engine the later engines had the side pull starter the earlier ones had the cup starter now the flywheel's different i could hunt around to get a flywheel and then got to make sure my ignition works and all that this motor runs fantastically it's done hardly any work um, I'm more inclined to modify this cup. Now, as you can see, that bolt doesn't protrude anywhere near past where it should do to put a nut on it. But I can do some form of a step nut in that to hold that in. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, and that way, it will have a start. So really, the goal today is I want to have paint on this frame. Um, but I've still got to finish dummying it up. So I'm going to assemble it now. I need to make sure my chain lines up with my sprocket. I need to, that's the main thing I'll do before I paint it. The starter, tubes, tires, rims, detailing. It doesn't really matter too much, but I want to get the frame painted. So that's my goal. All right, so I remember there was an issue with the spacing. Um, if I line up my sprocket with the clutch in the original mounting holes down there, because this isn't an original Dex and Hub, which when I bought it, I was told it was, but that's a story for another day. My wheel sits right over to the left-hand side. So I need to bring it to the center, which 
yeah, it means I've got to move that motor right over. So let's do some tweaking and see what we can do without it sticking out. It's going to stick out a lot, I think. It is what it is. Let's go. All right. I just spun the motor mount around, um, and we have good alignment that way. Wheels in the center. Engine sticking out a bit more, but that is what it is. Now, just one little thing. If you've come to this channel thinking, that's not how you restore a mini bike. If you're here because you like to see things restored, you've got the wrong channel. All right, for those of you that are still here after that, um, I need to move that motor mount a lot more forward than where it is. I've spun that around, the holes don't line up. Um, my chain's long enough, I've just checked that. And the reason we move it forward is because the foot peg on this particular model is in the middle and it gets in the way of the engine, even without that engine sticking out that far. So I think the best way to do this is to cut this off from here and then re-weld it. So these are in the same spot. We're just gonna have that spun around. I'll reline it up, tack it in place, weld her up, and then we can get into preparation of the frame and painting of the frame, because there's nothing else I need to modify on the frame. A few things I've got to weld up, um, grind back, but yeah, we're good to go. So, I've just tucked that back into place. Chain lines up, wheel lines up, and we're not sticking out anywhere near as far as I thought we might be. But you know, I've got ample love handles that'll more than compensate for the overhang. Here I am wondering why I'm having drama welding. And I found out when I was doing that piece down there, that the whole frame is full of lead. What the hell? Because it had extra holes in it. I'm like, what are the holes for? And I've ground it off so I can weld up the holes and it's all lead inside. So I'm just like, you've got to be kidding. No wonder it's heavy. I thought it was a bit heavy, but anyway, there's a bit of a weight disadvantage. And you know, thinking about it, it's only this side. The light side so i wonder if that's done to compensate for the weight of the motor over there who needs compensation when you've got love handles mm -hmm. let that dry um, I'll go and grab my forks because they need a lot of work and we'll see what we can do with those and when this is dry we'll give it a cut of paint pending that stuff up there yeah so these forwards are absolute turds um, I've managed to get one of the fork legs free they're all bent so I didn't disclose it to me which I'm not really happy about it is what it is I mean they're 50 years old but you don't get what you pay for sometimes got them out They've probably been soaking in WD-40 since the last video and um, pays to have a big vice too. So yeah, they're not all happy. They're all bent and twisted. I'll do my best to get these straight because this is what we're using for now. I can always make another set later, but they'll be fine. I'll tell you what, if the frame matched the color and patina of this, these set of forks, I'd just leave it. That looks awesome. Shame they have to paint over that. I'm half tempted to go and get a colour match. It's kind of like a olive green, but it's not bluey green. Definitely not Aussie forks, but they're going to work. Alrighty, it's time to paint. Let's hope this stuff sticks. By the look of that, it looks like it's uh, acrylic. The way it's sanded up. Um, we'll see what happens. Light coat of primer, acrylic primer, seem to stick all right. So we can go on to the next coat. It's a three-part um, paint job, basically. It's a candy, not including the primer. There's three parts, so we'll whack the next one on, and we'll see how that looks. There you go. She went on nice. It's like a metallic silver. Um, that's what colour I'm going to paint the tank. 
so I won't be having the candy over the top. Come up pretty good. Now it's time for the colour. And then the clear. Fuel tank's done, top coats are clear on, lots of coats. Are you ready to see the finished product with the frame? Oh yeah, a little bit of love purple. get more 60s than that. Anyhow, that's it from me. Stay tuned. Be good to your mates. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I will see you on the next one. Cheers.